They say necessity is the mother of invention. That certainly applies to the case Anne Marie Berger is about to share with us. Everyone knows it's important to take the time and start the day with a nice, healthy breakfast. But often it's the time that gets in the way of the healthy eating, especially in the morning. But lucky for us, there's a company right here in St. Louis that's mixing up a tasty solution. On the ground floor of STL Venture Works in Grand Center, a small business incubator catering to culinary focused startups, is Start Right Foods. Start Right Foods makes high protein convenient breakfast products that are delicious. Specifically waffles, and they are tasty. That's pretty good. Kyle Rood and Clint Matthews are the master waffle flippers and box folders at Start Right. How many waffles do you think you've cooked in your lifetime? Uh, it's well over 100,000. <laughs> Just myself. They also happen to be the founders of this company. Both former college athletes and graduates of the University of Missouri in Columbia, they came across a research study on high protein diets. They had in their studies about seven or eight different high protein breakfast options, but the one that all the participants said, I either want that recipe or I want to be able to buy that in the store were the waffles. So these entrepreneurs licensed the recipe and in 2015 began manually making waffles, selling them to two grocery stores in Columbia. Uh, but we did start in Columbia with two stores, uh, Clint's pickup truck and uh, coolers and dry ice driving around to deliver. Uh, we can make five boxes an hour and we thought we were just really killing it. Uh, now we are set up to do about 80 boxes an hour. They've grown to include some SLU students on the waffle line and even have a food scientist on the payroll. Starting up a business is hard work, and unfortunately, 90% of them fail altogether. In fact, Start Right is this duo's second attempt at entrepreneurism. They were forced to fold their biomedical device company due to FDA regulations. The three P's of entrepreneurship, you either perish, uh, you persevere, or you pivot. And so we kind of did all three with uh, our two businesses here. Product need is important for success, and waffles are a pretty generic product. But Start Right is hanging their hat on the high protein aspect of starting your day. So what I have here are three different examples of breakfast combinations that contain around 30 grams of protein. So starting Jennifer McDaniel is a registered dietitian and spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So well, protein is very important for not only our muscles, but also for our skin, our organs, and it's also an important part of enzymes and hormones and regulates our metabolism. So protein is very important not only for just the structure of our bodies, but also things like our immunity and our metabolism. McDaniel explains that dividing our weight in half is the amount of protein in grams we should have throughout the day. And starting the day with more than 20 grams of protein, along with a healthy lifestyle, will maintain good muscle mass and weight loss. What we've seen is that when people start off with a higher protein breakfast, not only do they feel full longer, but some studies have also shown that it helps us to reduce abdominal obesity better than starting off with a higher carbohydrate breakfast. There's a lot of good evidence that by starting with a high protein breakfast, it really starts off the fuel for eating right the rest of the day. So the need for a healthy high protein breakfast combined with convenience is what Rude and Matthews are banking on. So fast forward two years, these entrepreneurs have grown from distributing to two stores in Columbia to selling their waffles in more than 70 stores across our region, including Deerberg's and they give credit to the support they've received from the startup community in St. Louis. There's all this talk, you know, headlines, reports about St. Louis being a great place for startups and, you know, is that PR from the startup world or is there, is it hype or is that, is that actually, is that true? I mean, I think it's a little of both, but the hype is underlied by a really great, robust community. And I think it works so well in St. Louis because people are willing to help. So CEOs of companies are willing to reach out to these entrepreneurs and give them information, give them advice without any strings attached, which is very unique. Um, I think it's a very Midwestern thing and it's very awesome to have in this community. And Start Right Foods is just getting started. 
So now that we're finally purchasing a larger machine and we're going to have the production capacity, our goal is to spread throughout the upper Midwest and really reach out to those bigger chains like the high vs of the world and, and expand into those that have central distribution and uh, really try to get into over a thousand stores over the next 12 months. That, if we get to that point in the next 12 months, then I'll feel like we're a success. Yeah.